This is Uthred Ronaldson, and this is Conflict of Nations World War Three, Day 6, and I am playing as the Philippines. Alright, so um, welcome back guys to uh, Day 6. And so, I hope that uh, you are updated and uh, you have uh, watched the previous video so that uh, you will know what's happening and that um, so that you'll be updated with the uh, day-to-day events of uh, this game. Okay, so today, I'll just uh, give you an update about uh, our campaign with Japan. Also, we will check the status and um, the uh, activities, the movements of uh, our allies. We will also check um, events that is happening around the world. And we're going to check other uh, players also um, to see who's what's gonna be um the uh, what will be the um, future of this game we have to determine who's gonna be the um, the the players who will um, who will face off um, in the end so we'll have to uh, basically determine what's gonna be um, determine and um, understand what's gonna be uh, the future of this game in order for us to be able to position ourselves better and um, um, determine uh, the type of alliances that we have to build as well as um, the movements, the strategies as well as the resources. How are we going to allocate the resources at this point? Because this game is a slow-paced game. And basically, what you do right now, what you do today, will determine um, the actions that you can take on the following weeks. So it's basically anticipation, and um, you have to you have to anticipate what's gonna happen in the future, so that you can um, you can start. So you, so you can make the plans now, and then start the execution. The reason is um, you can, if you will react it once, um, I mean, if you will be reactive here, then it's always going to be too late in this game because it will always take some time before you can do something or before you can um, start something. So if you will plan ahead, you have to make sure that uh, the things that you will do now will be according to, to your future plans. So that's what we're going to check out also in this game. But just to recap, yesterday, so yesterday was our um, second day um, with uh, the Japanese campaign. So right now on the third day, so as you can see, northern Japan has been completely conquered. We're just going to have to, um, Niigata is the only remaining homeland city for Japan here. And is about to be conquered by Australia, a very good ally. All right, so we're able to capture Tokyo, Osaka, Kochi, Hiroshima, and Fukuoka. So we have an additional uh, five uh, cities, and uh, that will boost, help boost our uh, our resource production. All right, so we're gonna finish this up within the day. We're just basically cleaning it up and conquering the. Um, the uh, non-resource provinces of Japan. So that means we have to make preparations for our next steps. So that's something that we will be talking about today also. Um, we'll discuss what's the plans. And um, there will be possibly some moment of silence as I try to um, check the layout of the map. But I hope, guys, that uh, you will be interactive also. You will be... You will interact with me through the comment section there. So if you have anything that uh, you think you have observed, just let me know. Um, 
and then I will do my best to to respond to your comments so that you know um so that we can have some uh, a little bit of conversation and uh, let's talk about the game. Also, if you have any tips, you know I'm um this game. You will always learn something new on this game. So if you can help me and uh, if you have something that you can teach me about, I'm all ears. So I'll be happy to learn from you guys. So there. Anyway, Japan will be uh, finished probably within 24 hours. I will start my... I will initiate bombardment of uh, Tsushima. Tsushima with four of my corvettes so i have four corvettes now going in for the kill and um, i think we'll be able to handle it now and we'll be able to uh, destroy whatever forces he got left in tsushima all right so okay so what's next right so japan will be taken so what's going to be our next plan what are we going to do okay i've been thinking about this but to be honest i re i want to Think about this while doing the video um, um in that way i'll be able to at least include you guys and um, um you'll be able to take part with uh the process and how we will uh continue the game how will how we will proceed with the game just captured one city here or one province here so so that's something that we will determine all right, so what's our next step? So my plan, um, I'm thinking of going for uh, Korea. So there's a war happening right there in Korea right now. The north and the south is uh, going against each other, and some um. Let me check. Korea, and as of now, um. I really can't say that uh, there's already a winner in this game, in this uh, battle here. Oh, all right. So Japan just declared war against Korea, but nothing really happened there. So, so um, South Korea, in terms of casualties, is gaining ground, but um, it is winning. I mean, they have fewer casualties, but. North Korea was able to conquer the um, surrounding cities. Um, so, but uh, South Korea was also able to advance here in uh, one sand. So I think um, we can take advantage of this. We're gonna. Um, this will be my gateway to Asia. So, yeah, I'll have to clear this first. I have also the option to go for China. But. I think going for South Korea will give me um, uh, multiple ways of entering China. So let's think about it together, guys. So if we will go for South, if we will go for Korea, that's good. I think this can be easily captured. Um, they're already at war right now, so we're expecting that um, um, the resistance won't be that uh, difficult. All right, so no major um upgrades done or buildings was produced. Uh, North Korea is ramping up, so he he has um barracks, but I'm pretty sure that North North Korea is having some challenges in terms of resources. He hasn't expanded yet, and uh, yeah, probably he has uh, difficulty with resources right now. So we're gonna take advantage of that, and um. And we will use Korean resources to uh, further boost our production, our mobilization. So, okay, we're going to go for Korea. And then while we're conquering Korea, we are going to prepare, prepare for China. All right, so for Korea, what should we do here? What, what, what is needed? So Korean cities are mostly in the coast, right? So as you notice here, all of the Korean cities has... Um, are in the coast so that means except for Guangzhou right so that means we can attack um, uh, all those cities using our ships and we have we have ships we have a total of five corvettes and uh, another two um, frigates 
currently being mobilized or just one basically as of now yeah we have uh, limited resources for now so so okay so yeah we're gonna take on uh the koreans um with using the existing forces that we have from Ch from japan so to do that i'm gonna ha first have to um neutralize japanese forces here in Tsushima. that's the first one also we will have to wait for the cities to um for the city's morale to go up to uh 35 percent so we can leave the cities and um, move our forces into korea all right so so we're gonna do that for the meantime i'll have to uh conserve my resources so i'm not gonna be um producing so basically um the units that i have here in japan Japan will probably be the same units that we will be using in Korea. So we're not gonna I I will do some limited mobilization. I'll mainly focus on mobilizing ships because I I will definitely need them. The more ships I have, the better for uh chances for me in uh, winning this game. Also, I'm gonna continue mobilizing airplanes, um especially heavies, uh particularly the Orion the naval patrol aircraft so we're gonna build um at least um, a stack of those five um uh a stack of five naval pat naval patrols i think that will be enough for now and then um after that uh yeah maybe we will um divert some of the resources to build um strikers Yes, we also need some strikers to so we can have a much deadlier um invasion force okay so let's go back to korea so korea in my estimation so so we're gonna have to uh, finish Chosima. so by tomorrow it will be possible i am not definite yet because i'm the type of uh, player who doesn't really um like create a plan and then stick to it religiously although that that will be a good um a good thing to do but you know um sometimes you have to be flexible also so yes you have to make plans but sometimes those plans but also you have to be you learn how to be flexible and learn when to make some changes on the plans but the thing is when you create a plan it always has to be like um in a general sense uh so that you can make some changes in the details so in the general sense our plan will be to conquer uh korea and then china but the details of that um uh, conquest will mainly depend on uh the uh the daily events so there so we're going to probably it is possible that i may start my attack by tomorrow uh, uh on the seventh day if not the latest will be on the eighth day because again i'll have to wait for the cities to be pacified and to go up to a uh, 35 percent so um it will probably take two to three days for that but um while waiting we can start bombing those cities and uh, neutralize any potential threat in the sea but as of now i um so the koreans has no um naval bases level two naval bases so i will still be my, my naval force will still be uncontested in this uh area in this region right here okay so so okay, let me check hold on so this will arrive in 30 minutes okay so first my first attack in uh, Tsushima will be um, will happen in the the next 30 minutes all right so we're gonna start bombing and cleaning up uh the troops here in south korea and then possibly on the eighth day that's the time that i can send one uh, at least one by one um i can start sending my forces into uh 
into the Korean Peninsula so I can start um, occupying these uh, cities right here. Now, in my estimation, um, the Korean conquest may take, let's say, three days. So the first day, I'll start the bombings. Second day, I'll start the landings. And then, yeah, third day, we'll continue the uh, inland march. So it is. it will be possibly three to five days to uh, complete my conquest in Korea. So um so what are we right now we are right now at uh on the sixth day and uh we were able to uh, finish japan so that means seven days so five days of our korea is is really not is is will be um yeah five days will be enough you know um that includes the uh hopefully the pacification of the cities so that means I'll have a week in preparation to prepare for my invasion of China. So while we are going for South Korea, we will be preparing um, for the invasion of China. So what do we need to uh, invade China? Of course, ships, right? So right after bombing South Korea, I'm going to also use the ships to uh, maintain uh, peace and order in uh, Korea. So I'm, we're going to use the the ships to uh, support the ground troops in case there's um, insurrection that will happen in uh, in Korea. And then right after that, uh, possibly while waiting for the pacification of uh, South Korea or of the Korean nation, then we will move forward and start the bombings of the coastal cities of China. So what will we need? What do we need for the Chinese invasion? So number one, China is a is a very huge country. So that means um to to cover some ground, we will have to we will have to produce uh strikers. So we need strikers. So yeah, I'm going to upgrade strikers. Oh, by the way, I I just re um researched seasoned veteran um infantry i'm gonna need some in uh i'm gonna start recruiting officers now because i love officers i mean uh you know they, they boost um they boost uh stats for for your stacks so that will be good plus it's always good to have a leader right to have a, a seasoned veteran who will lead your armies so we will be recruiting um uh a veteran infantry and that's uh that will be Ragnar all right Ragnar the warlord that's going to be our seasoned veteran we will recruit him again and hopefully he will be ready and available for our Korean conquest so again going back so we're going to have we're going to need strikers so for striker for a striker force strikers will have will need um components which we have uh we have an abundance of components right now all right so we won't have to worry about it we're going to need electronics so yeah definitely definitely um we're going to have to uh boost our electronics um production and then continue continue to do upgrades all right so aside from strikers we're gonna need infantries so i also need to level up my motorized infantry as of now my uh, motorized infantry is still at level one so i need to get it to level three all right that's not going to be easy. Also, I need to uh, boost my uh, supplies um, production. So, so, yeah, boost supply productions. Let me um, take note of that so that we won't forget. Yeah. 
So, okay. So, supplies, electronics, rare materials. So, those things. So, in terms of uh, um, fuel as well as um, components, we're good. Manpower, we are a bit short, but uh, that will be fine. Um, I I will be uh, conserving my manpower for now, because because uh, later on I will be uh, ramping up my production. But I will also level up some of my manpowers, uh, or some of my recruitment centers, especially in my key cities like Manila, Cebu. Okay, and then. This is always uh, something that uh, I debate with myself. Should I go for armor now? Armor is always a good option, but um, during early games, it's always um, the difficulty is managing your resources because you have limited resources. So you have to prioritize. So if I'm going to have strikers and then followed by my infantries, like mo uh, motorized infantry and my national guards, I can definitely conquer, and since I have, um, since I have, um, uh, strikers, then I can move forward. However, if China will uh, have anti-air, then I won't be able to advance. Though the best thing I can do is to secure the uh, coastal cities and its surrounding provinces. So if if China will have um, anti-air as well as uh, armored force. I will be pushed out of China. So, so that is something that I also have to consider. Oh, but I also have to consider if China will have those. So we will check his homeland cities to see what is what he is up to. So yeah, he has barracks. He was able to conquer this from. I don't know. I forgot, but it's a bot nation. Yeah, he has barracks, barracks. Um, so he's mostly focusing on ground troops. Yeah, no planes. Also, this this guy is not as active as uh, he wished to be. He's probably busy at work. So I don't think that's gonna be very difficult because uh, this guy has uh, only one level one um, barracks and. For you to have uh, anti-air, SAM launchers, is this a SAM launcher? Oh, this is a rocket launcher. So mob mobile uh, anti-air, you will uh, need, so yeah, he can produce this, but for SAM launchers, he needs a level 3 air base. So I think. It's not gonna be uh, difficult for him to build this, so it. But it will be difficult for me. So, in order to counter that, I will need to have an elite railgun. So that means plus the railgun is also um one of my favorite units. So here. This one right here. So the rail guns are very powerful. So it has uh, long range. It is long range, and it has, um, well, uh, during level one it has no anti air, but level two, which will be available on day sixteen, it will uh, provide us with. Five attack points for winged and uh, fixed wing and rotary wing. Fixed wing are those um, fighters like the like the um, ASF strikers. Rotary wings are the the choppers, helicopters, attack helicopters. So, um, but we're not gonna need level two yet because. I'm not expecting uh, China to build his air force 
but if he will then I'll have to um um to continuously produce um air superiority fighters. So the thing here is that I cannot research too many different types of um of units because we have to upgrade our existing units also. So that is something that I also have to consider. And upgrading or doing research normally will take more than a day. So since you can only do two research at a time, then that means you can do two research in a day and a half. So in, a, in three days, you can do like uh, four research, something, something like that. But so if, if you will be um, researching a lot of um, units, then you have to be sure that you will be using those units. So you have to pick what units you will be focusing on. So yeah, we'll need rail guns. I'm also going to need uh, armor. And SAM launchers. Right now, it's not necessary. But uh, in the end, or in the future, yes, especially once we advance into mainland China um, as um, in preparation on uh, facing those other strong enemies. So, okay. So, there. So, we'll need the uh, strikers, real gun, and then uh, armor to support our infantry. So, definitely, we're gonna go and land in Hong Kong. Shanghai and Qingdao and all the cities that are in the coast will be under under threat from my invasion. So, so we'll keep our flexibility for now. Um, I'm not gonna uh, think about it yet, but um, we have lots of options in um, going for 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 going against China. So let's just see. Okay. All right. So that's that's it for now. That's that's it uh, for our plans. Now let's visit our allies. So Indonesia is doing pretty good. Really good against Vietnam and he is now he, he was now able to uh, capture three of the homeland cities and um he's currently bombing Hanoi, the capital. Of Vietnam so it's probably gonna take him so he started yesterday right so this is his second day against uh, Vietnam so it's probably gonna take him uh, three I don't know maybe two or three more days to uh, completely finish off Vietnam if he is active right so so let's see what he's gonna do so Okay, so he's doing good against Vietnam. He also is currently at war with uh, Thailand, pushing for Suratani. All right, so basically this whole Malayan Peninsula is now under um, Indonesian control. All right, and it's probably going to push through all the way to Myanmar. And I don't know, maybe he'll help me. He will be attacking China also, but he also has, um, he can also go against India. All right. Now, um, let's visit um, Australia. So Australia, since uh, he is um, down here in the bottom with no neighbor, so he, he did not uh, push through it with um, removing uh, New Zealand out of the coalition, but he has some forces here. I'm not sure. You know, I, I sent him a message and I told him that it's up to him. And whatever his uh, decision here, I'm going to support him. Um, if he will conquer uh, New Zealand, if he needs help, then I'm going to send help. Um, but it's it's up to him. If he wants to keep uh, New Zealand, that's totally fine also. Uh, I trust his judgment. So, yeah. Um, right now, yeah, uh, it's pretty much um, settled with uh, Japan here. Just need to uh, conquer Niigata and then wait for uh, Sapporo to be neutralized currently at uh, 28% but I think he needs to reinforce this um, 5th Infantry Battalion right here because um, 
there's a possibility of another insurrection there and uh i'm not sure if uh this unit here will be able to hold on um if there's another rebellion that will happen he's also gonna conquer this he asked me if he can conquer so definitely yes so um another uh area uh where he's doing his campaign is here in um, mozambique in africa he's doing good also he has one two three four cities uh taken against uh four mozambique cities were taken all already uh, all of those are homeland cities so very good he's doing really good and now he'll be able to connect with our with another ally which is cameroon all right so very good there um australia now moving on to cameroon this one is also a um i just noticed and uh i, I didn't really pay attention that much but when i checked his uh, stats i was surprised to see that his kd is at 4.73 this one is a very good player was able to achieve um higher stats than mine so yeah i'm at two yeah um, 2.0 so he's definitely uh better than me and of course most of the players who have good stats you will see that um, they have strong air force that's what he has so yeah he has um strikers he has two strikers but uh, his forces are spread out He's trying to uh, connect with um, with uh, uh, Australia. So once they were able to connect with each other, then I think that will be that will be um, a best case scenario for us. Um, complete domination of Africa will totally be possible. Um, Cameroon, as after uh, seeing his stats, I I uh, think that uh, he will be a um, very good player here so yeah it's it's a good um decision for for australia to accept cameroon into our um into our coalition so okay all right so that, that that's basically it but uh, let me just uh, show you around okay so france has now completely uh, conquered so just like what uh just like my prediction so he just there look at this conquered cities are now above 35 percent uh, morale so he, he did that and then he pushed on so that's basically how you do it you, you um conquer one city at a time and then move on but again it depends it depends on the enemy if your enemy is very active then you have to be on the move as well um but i think france here is not that active so he can, he had the luxury to do that in my analogy i always think that um if a country is inactive i always think that there's a um uh, uh an internal strife wherein it prevented the uh, people to um and it prevented their people to make uh, proper decisions and um coordinated uh defense so that's how i see it if if uh a player is inactive so yeah that's probably what happened against france same with world war ii so okay there you go here we have um okay so brazil and colombia are not in good terms but colombia is uh the mightiest nation of all for now but uh, brazil and argentina are allies okay United States still not done with uh, Cuba okay that's fine all right let's uh, just check the news formal act will engage in okay so who's formal act let's see Let's see, let's see, let's see. Korea. Who is Korea? Oh, okay. So Russia, AZ. So oh, that is Korea, South Korea. South Korea declares war on Japan. Okay. 
So it was South Korea who uh, declared war against Japan. Okay. All right. Ah, we don't know. Maybe South Korea is also good. Maybe. Romania declares war on Crimea. Okay, very good. At least we have uh, many active players here. That makes this game interesting. All right, so time, time flies uh, very fast. We're at 35 minutes right now. All right, so I want to show you this. There you go. So Spain occupies a uh, French capital. Oh, Canada left the game. All right. Not good. Saudi Arabia declares war on Israel. Okay. All right. Argentina left the game as well. All right. So lots of people leaving the game. Can't do anything about it. Oh, okay. So the UK have left the game as well. So... That's too bad. Oh, sorry. This was day five. All right. Mozambique left the game as well. All right. Okay. Okay. This is what I wanted to show you. So economy, in terms of economy, the Philippines is uh, on the 13th place, Cameroon is on the 12th, and then Australia 8th, Indonesia 5th, so the first um, uh, city that has the largest economy is still the United States, followed by Russia, and then Brazil, Colombia, Indonesia, India, Spain, so we, ha we need to catch up, we're at 15,000, so that's the reason why I'm trying to ramp up some of my... Um, key uh, uh, production cities also or resource cities has been captured in Yonde. okay agent captured Yonde. okay so someone sent uh, an agent in Yonde to infiltrate Cameroon all right okay so I guess that's it for now I like this episode guys um we've discussed a lot of things and I hope that uh, you've learned a little bit from our discussion on how on how we make the on how we made preparations in um for the upcoming campaigns that we have since uh we are about to uh, wrap up our Japanese conquest so there again guys i encourage you if you have questions or if you uh, have any suggestions or comments please um reach out and uh please feel free to uh send a comment um in in uh, the video and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so by um by hitting the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you will be alerted once i have a new video posted since right now i am producing one video a day and uh, we're monitoring the this particular game on a daily basis at least that will be good for you if you will have um if you will have a uh a, um, an update on a daily basis so that's it for now that's it for me my fr uh, my friends and uh, i hope that uh, you enjoy this video and we will see you again tomorrow skull